everyone, thank you so much for joining me right here on Actual English. I'm Jennifer Clyde. Well, it's already time for lesson 36, and today let's kind of relax as we enjoy talking about a very light topic. Let's talk about general hobbies, hobbies that people generally have. Uh, nothing too difficult. So, what are some general hobbies you can think of? Uh, there are things such as gardening, which we'll be talking about in today's actual talk. Some people enjoy listening to music. Some people take lessons, learning how to cook. Uh, also learn how to garden, for example. I would like to bake <laughs> as a hobby. I'd like to take some cooking lessons or baking lessons as well. So you could learn an instrument or learn martial arts. And if you enjoy doing it, you can call it a hobby of yours. So, as I mentioned, let's kind of relax, kick back and relax as you enjoy today's lecture. Let's begin with today's actual talk. You know, we're both really busy people, so oh, probably yes. you're like me and you don't have a lot of time for hobbies. Mm -hmm. But I was thinking about it, and when I'm older, one of the things I want to do is, is pick up playing the guitar, especially oh, really? Spanish classical guitar. I tried doing that. I took lessons for two months and I stopped. Uh, really? <laughs> yeah. Um, I tried gardening as well mm -hmm. in Korea, which... Um, you have a garden? I don't have a garden. I made a mini garden in my uh, on the balcony. Yeah. Um, I ended up killing all my plants because mm. I bought all different kinds of seeds from one of the local stores. So I bought like uh, watermelon seeds and pumpkin seeds. What else? Lettuce seeds. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think the climate on my balcony is appropriate. <laughs> is appropriate for growing all those kinds of mm. vegetables and herbs and stuff. Yeah, and you got to study each one how to feed it properly. Yeah, I did not do that. Very well. I don't think I um, moved the the little seedlings into the bigger pots, pots at the right better. Time. Yeah, uh, that's when, when I, I was young. I did a lot of gardening. Oh, really? Yeah. Did you have a garden? We had a huge garden. Right. We grew a lot of food, so we had tons of food all summer. Yeah, would be, would gardening be a hobby? It yes, would be. Yes. Yeah. It, yeah. If you have a green thumb. If you have a green thumb, I think green is meant to be aesthetically pleasing as well. Mm. Relaxes you. I'm talking about hobbies. Um, I recently took up model making, model really? building. Yeah, I know everyone Are you gave a little me boy? that. <laughs> <laughs> but Korea is model makers heaven. You get kits of little um, thatched roof houses, oh, yeah. and you get little robots as well, and, and you can make all sorts of things. It's not just cars and your ordinary ships and stuff. Mm -hmm. Like I said, you can make houses. You can even make palaces in Korea as well. Palaces. Yeah, oh, that sounds You've got great. Got little kits. Let's go make a palace. Maybe right. we can live in it. I'll help you. Okay, welcome back everyone. Did you enjoy today's talk? Actual talk, that is. You know what, as I was listening to today's actual conversation between these lovely people, I couldn't help but realize that most people, I think as we all age and get older, we seem to gain more interest in similar things. Uh, what did they mention? They mentioned something about gardening, making a mini garden, even uh, picking up or taking up lessons, guitar lessons. They also mentioned, I guess, um, something very close to model building. I'm not really into model building, but things like those are some common hobbies or hobbies or fields things, activities that people are generally interested in. So let's take it line by line. Here we go. First of all, Peter says, you know, we're both really busy people. He's just starting a conversation very casually. We're both really busy people. You probably don't have a lot of time for hobbies, but let's get straight to the point. He says, when I'm older, one of the things I want to do is pick up playing the guitar. Now, pick up, you can pick something up from the ground. You can pick something up from the floor, of course. Yes, you can. But pick up in this case means to learn something, okay? So he's saying, when I'm older, one of the many things I want to do is pick up, learn how to play the guitar. So, pick up playing the guitar or pick up playing guitar is also used. So, often the is omitted. 
playing piano, playing guitar. You will hear that, okay? So that's what he wants to do when he gets older. And then he says, especially Spanish classical guitar. Hmm. So he's talking about a type of guitar. Moving on. Now, Joanne says, I tried doing that. I tried doing that, meaning I tried taking guitar lessons, perhaps. I tried playing the guitar. I tried to learn how to play the guitar. So she's saying, yeah, I tried doing that. It took, I took lessons for two months and I stopped. Hmm. So we say we take lessons. Now she's talking about the past. So she's saying I took lessons for how long? For two months. But she stopped. Meaning she took lessons just for two months and she no longer took lessons after two months. She stopped taking lessons. I tried gardening as well. I made a mini garden, meaning a small garden, a miniature garden on the balcony. A lot of apartments, especially in Korea or across the globe, around the world, apartments have balconies, right? So she says, I ended up killing all my plants. Uh -huh. Now, whenever you hear, I ended up, somebody ended up or it ended up. Now, end up means to result in something. So if you want to talk about a result of some sort, you can say end up. She's talking about her result. Well, uh, I tried gardening. I made a mini garden uh, on the balcony and I ended up killing all the plants. Hmm. I bought watermelon seeds and pumpkin seeds and she thinks, uh, she says, um, what else did I buy? Aha, lettuce seeds. There we go. So she's bought watermelon, pumpkin and even lettuce seeds, but they all died, okay? She says, I don't think the climate on my balcony is appropriate. Hmm. So she's talking about the climate, or maybe she's blaming the climate uh, on, I mean, she's blaming the climate, but basically she's saying, I don't think the climate on my balcony is appropriate, meaning suitable, right, for growing all those kinds of vegetables and herbs. Take a look at that pronunciation in just a bit. So Peter says, yeah, and you've got to study each one. Study each one, one meaning each vegetable or an herb or any kind of plant that you grow. So he's saying, yeah, uh, it's difficult to grow or raise plants and vegetables or herbs of any sort, but you have to, you've got to study each one, how to feed it properly, for example. Now he says, when I was little, okay, he's talking about the past, I did a lot of gardening. So he's talking about his past experience as a child, when I was a lot younger, when I was little, I did a lot of gardening. And then he says, we had a huge garden, a very large garden, perhaps at home. Now, Joanne says, yeah, would gardening be a hobby? Just a way of asking, would you say that gardening is a hobby? Is gardening a hobby? And he says, yeah, if you have a green thumb, yes, it could be a hobby if you have a green thumb. We'll talk about that in just a bit. But if you say that you have a green thumb, it does not mean that you hurt your finger and it's bruised. It's not green because you hurt it. If you say that you or somebody has a green thumb, it means that that person is very skilled, is very good at growing plants and vegetables and herbs, is very good in gardening, for example. So he says, yeah, if you have a green thumb, if you're good at growing plants, then of course, gardening could be a hobby. Now, Joanne says, talking about hobbies, now that we're on the topic of of course, hobbies. I recently took up model making or model building. Now, take up means what? To gain interest in something. So say, for example, if you gain interest in model making, suddenly it looks so interesting to you. It looks so fun and you start learning about it and actually practicing it. You can say, I took up something. So Joanne is saying she took up model making or model building because 
it suddenly looked or seemed very interesting. Uh, Peter says, really? Are you a little boy? Of course. This is not exactly a question to be answered. He's just joking, saying, model making is for boys. Are you a little boy? And of course, Joanne says, well, no, but Korea is model makers heaven. It is heaven. It's like paradise to model makers. Model makers, people who make models, for example. And then she says, you get kits, small kits of little thatch roofed houses. Oftentimes, if you go to uh, like folk village, uh, folk village, you will see traditional houses and they have these roofs, right? They would be houses with thatched roofs. But in this case, you can say thatch roofed houses. It's just a type of house. And then she says, and you get little robots as well. So she's talking about kits and robots and you can make all sorts of, all kinds of things, she says. Now, and then she continues by saying, you know, like I said, you can even make palaces in Korea. She sounds really excited. And Peter, of course, says, palaces? Hmm, okay, that sounds great. So she sounds very enthusiastic. She sounds like she's really interested in model making. It's a lot of fun to her. So, yeah, she's taking up model making. Okay, wonderful. Let's take a listen to today's actual talk one more time. You know, we're both really busy people, so oh, probably yes. you're like me and you don't have a lot of time for hobbies. Mm -hmm. But I was thinking about it, and when I'm older, one of the things I want to do is, is pick up playing the guitar, especially oh, really? Spanish classical guitar. I tried doing that. I took lessons for two months and I stopped. Uh, really? <laughs> yeah. Um, I tried gardening as well mm -hmm. in Korea, which... Um, you have a garden? I don't have a garden. I made a mini garden in my uh, on the balcony. Yeah. Um, I ended up killing all my plants because mm. I bought all different kinds of seeds from one of the local stores. So I bought like uh, watermelon seeds and pumpkin seeds. What else? Lettuce seeds. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think the climate on my balcony is appropriate. <laughs> is appropriate for growing all those kinds of mm. vegetables and herbs and stuff. Yeah, and you got to study each one how to feed it properly. Yeah, I did not do that. Very well. I don't think I um, moved the the little seedlings into the bigger pots, pots at the right better. Time. Yeah, uh, that's when, when I, I was young. I did a lot of gardening. Oh, really? Yeah. Did you have a garden? We had a huge garden. Right. We grew a lot of food, so we had tons of food all summer. Yeah. Would be, would gardening be a hobby? It yes, would be. Yes. Yeah. It, yeah. If you have a green thumb. If you have a green thumb, I think green is meant to be aesthetically pleasing as well. Mm. It relaxes you. I'm talking about hobbies. Um, I recently took up model making, model really? building. Yeah, I know everyone Are you gave a me boy? that. <laughs> <laughs> but Korea is model makers heaven. You get kits of little um, thatched roof houses, oh, yeah. and you get little robots as well, and, and you can make all sorts of things. It's not just cars and your ordinary ships and stuff. Mm -hmm. Like I said, you can make houses. You can even make palaces in Korea as well. Palaces. Yeah, oh, that sounds You've got great. little kits. Let's go make a palace. Maybe right. we can live in it. I'll help you. Taking a listen to the actual talk one more time. Yeah, Joanne kind of uh, sounds like a little boy who's really, really having fun making things, such as palaces and robots with little kits. Anyhow, let's take a look at some expressions. It's time for actual expressions. And as always, a few vocab words for you. Now let's take a look at the first word. Balcony is an easy word. I think more often than balcony, in Korea, we tend to use the word peranda, which comes from the word veranda. So uh, if you want to pronounce it, you would say veranda, veranda. That's where peranda comes from. But apartments usually have balconies. Balconies are projecting areas from buildings, for example, outwards from a certain wall of the building and they usually have railings around them. So those are what you would call balconies or a balcony, okay? The C there is not exactly a K, but it's a thicker sound, so it's a balcony. A balcony, balcony. What about the next word? Yeah, herbs, herbs. Herb or herbs. But usually in North America, we say herb. As you see here, there is no H sound. 
It's not hobu, but obu, for example. It's urb, herb. But especially in British English, yes, they do include the H sound. So you will hear herb from British people, okay? So let's try practicing both pronunciations. First of all, without the H sound, herb, herb. And in British English, you would pronounce it with the H sound, so it becomes herb, herb. Good job. Okay, we've got take up in today's actual talk. Yes, Joanne was talking about how she took up model making or model building, right? So, the stress should go on the second syllable. It's take up, take up, took up, took up. Some other synonyms are adopt, pick up, enter, or even, yeah, especially if you start an activity, begin an activity, if you gain interest in something, you would say you take something up. Now it's time for some patterns, everyone. Now when it comes to hobbies, of course, you can learn how to play instruments. You can learn how to dance, for example. You can learn many things. Take lessons for several things. So let's practice talking about taking lessons. Now take certain lessons for how long? Now keep this pattern in mind. What you can say is, I took piano lessons for eight years, okay? Mention what kind of lessons for how long. So as you see, it's took, so you're talking about your past experience. This is actually a story of mine. When I was little, my mother kind of forced me to take piano lessons. Uh, I wish I'd continued to take piano lessons, but at that time, I think most kids hate taking piano lessons, so I quit. But yes, in the past, when I was little, I took piano lessons for eight years. One more time, I took piano lessons for eight years. Another sample sentence is, I'll be taking guitar lessons for six months. So in this sentence, we are talking about what? What you are planning to do. You are planning to take guitar lessons. So you can say, I will be, or I'll be taking guitar lessons for how long? For six months. Or maybe if you want to try something out and you pay for a month, for example, you can say, I'll be taking guitar lessons for a month and then I'll decide whether to continue or not. Let's practice the sentence one more time. I'll be taking guitar lessons for six months. Okay. Our next pattern is, when I was little, I did a lot of verb plus ing. This is what Peter said. I think he was talking about gardening when he was little, right? They had a huge garden. So when he was little, he said he did a lot of gardening. Some sample sentences. When I was little, I did. You're talking about the past, so I did a lot of swimming, okay? When I was little, I did a lot of swimming. What else do we have? Okay, when I was little, I did a lot of fighting, okay? If you were a boy running around the neighborhood fighting with everyone, you could say when I was little, I did a lot of fighting, but not anymore. One last pattern, everyone. Have a green thumb. Yes, have a green thumb. A green thumb means what? You're skilled in gardening and growing plants. You can say, my mother has a green thumb when it comes to herbs. Ah, what does that mean? She's really, really good at growing herbs. The herbs won't die, okay? She's really skilled in gardening, but especially she's really good at growing or raising herbs. Here's one more sentence. My garden is a disaster. And then you can say, I wish I had a green thumb. So if you don't have a green thumb, you can say, I wish I had a green thumb, meaning I wish I had the skills. I wish I was skilled in gardening or even growing plants and vegetables. Okay, that's a wrap for today's actual expressions. Great job. Uh, one of the things I really enjoy doing is playing the guitar.
I actually started um, when I was in middle school in eighth grade. I really liked the sound of music and so I really liked that sound and therefore I just wanted to start playing. Uh, I learned a note here and there through the internet like everybody else, but then somebody in my neighborhood actually wanted to teach me. And so that's when I started writing songs and playing the guitar. I played it all throughout high school and so that was a lot of fun. I think that it just brought me so much joy um, in playing the guitar. Unfortunately, I stopped playing when I came to college and so uh, it's, it's been really difficult. But then I bought a guitar not so long ago actually and started playing again. And so it's been a lot of fun. Um, I'm starting to get calluses again in my fingers and so it's been very interesting. Um, another thing I really like doing is uh, playing with children and I really like teaching as well and so they've just they're just so much joy I think they're, they just bring so much joy in life um, they're so innocent and young <laughs> that you feel like they don't they don't really understand the world but they're just they just have this innocent life about them and it just brings me so much joy to see them be part of society and so those are two very different things that I like to do. Okay, that was today's actual story and a quick hello and welcome to Marie. Thank you for helping us out. Now, what did she mention? She mentioned something about learning an instrument, right? She began or she started when she was in middle school in eighth grade. And uh, yeah, she played throughout high school for many, many years. So from middle school through high school, she said that she's even started again right now. Uh, she did mention towards the end of her story that she is also very interested in. She enjoys playing with children. So if you are by any chance asked a question about a hobby, it does not have to be a specific, a particular activity only. You can talk about what you enjoy doing. Uh, for example, playing with children can also be a hobby. Okay, so thanks Marie once again, and let's take a look at what she said line by line. Now she said, I started when I was in middle school. Okay, or you can also say, I started when I was a middle schooler. And she's being more specific, in eighth grade or in the eighth grade is another way of putting it. She said, I played all throughout high school. Now I added the it here just to make it a bit clearer for you to understand, a bit easier for you to understand. She's talking about playing a certain instrument. I played or played it all throughout high school. Throughout high school, meaning in every grade of high school for many years. Unfortunately, hmm, sadly, I stopped playing when I came to college. Aha! So I guess she got busier, she had to focus more on her studies, so she had to quit. You can say, I stopped playing or I quit playing. Check out one more. Another thing I really like doing is playing, okay, playing with children. So it's wonderful how she's added that as well. She's talked about an instrument, okay, how she enjoyed uh, playing, how she's also began again, she started playing the instrument again, and then she moves on to another hobby of hers or what she enjoys doing. Another thing I really like doing is playing with children. And finally, very quickly, I really like teaching as well. So perhaps, uh, I bet she's really good at teaching children. Usually people that like children are really good at teaching them as well. Okay, that is a wrap for today's actual story, everyone. Have a listen carefully one more time. Uh, one of the things I really enjoy doing is playing the guitar. I actually started um, when I was in middle school in eighth grade. I really liked the sound of music and so I really liked that sound and therefore I just wanted to start playing. Uh, I learned a note here and there through the internet like everybody else, but then somebody in my neighborhood actually wanted to teach me and so that's when I started writing songs and playing the guitar. I played it all throughout high school and so that was a lot of fun. I think that it just brought me so much joy um, in playing the guitar. Unfortunately, I stopped playing when I came to college, and so uh, it's, it's been really difficult. But then I bought a guitar not so long ago, actually, and started playing again. And so it's been a lot of fun. Um, I'm starting to get calluses again in my fingers, and so it's been <laughs> very interesting. Um, another thing I really like doing is uh, playing with 
children, and I really like teaching as well. And so they've just, they're just so much joy. I think they just bring so much joy in life. Um, they're so innocent and young <laughs> that you feel like they don't, they don't really understand the world, but they're just, they just have this innocent life about them. And it just brings me so much joy to see them be part of society. And so those are two very different things that I like to do. Did you have the opportunity to sit back and relax as you tuned into our lesson today? I hope you learned a lot as well. Sometimes it's good to not focus too much on memorizing. I stress this all the time. So don't stress out because you think you should remember everything from each and every lesson, everyone. Uh, why not include actual English as one of your hobbies? Watching our lessons could be uh, a hobby as well. That's one of my hopes or wishes, I guess. But yes, today we had a light topic. We talked about general hobbies. I do stress one more time that a hobby does not necessarily have to be learning something, such as an instrument or cooking. Uh, it doesn't have to be an activity. It can be anything in general. Anything you enjoy doing or anything you enjoy spending time doing. Uh, for example, you can say my hobby is perhaps talking with my parents. That could be a hobby because you really, really enjoy doing it. You value that moment very much, which can also be a hobby. Now, even in today's actual talk, Peter did begin by talking about, you know, how people are very busy these days, especially with children and work and so many other things to focus on. But he did mention something that he wants to do in the future when he gets older. So, now, you can add details to any kind of topic. You can talk about what kinds of hobbies you had as a little girl or a little boy, how they changed as you grew up, what kind of hobbies you have right now, the things you enjoy doing right now, and even focus or talk about what you hope to do in the future. I've always thought about taking uh, guitar lessons myself too, but they said you need to cut your nails, so I kind of gave up that thought. Try to make use of pick up doing something, pick up or take up as well. That's what we learned today. Also make use of a green thumb. Have a green thumb. It also means, as I mentioned, not just to have a color green thumb, but it means to be skilled, really, really good at raising or growing plants. And a person who is really good at gardening could be explained or expressed as having a green thumb as well. Okay, next time I'll be joining you back with another wonderful topic. Mm, it's also kind of a light topic as well. We'll talk about sports and club activities. So not just sports, not just club activities, but just activities you can enjoy on a daily basis, a weekly basis, or even just a monthly basis. Let's get active next time, okay? In the meantime, come and visit us at our homepage at www.ebse.co.kr. If you happen to have any questions, feel free to ask them, leave them on our homepage, and we'll try to get to them as soon as possible. And I do want to remind you once again, if there is a topic that you would like me to deal with, if you're interested in anything, let me know, post it up, and we'll also try our best to uh, prepare some lectures on that. Soon, I remember one of our uh, viewers added a message about, hey, can we talk about business English on the show? So why not? Sometime very soon, I'll be joining you with some business English as well, okay? So we'll keep on coming and posting them up. That is a wrap for today, everyone. I'll catch you again next time. Bye for now.